Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ubaid ibn Samit radiyallahu anhu reported that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam one day said, "When Ramadan had drawn near, Ramadan, the month of blessings, has come to you, wherein Allah turns towards you and sends down to you His special mercy, forgives faults, accepts prayers, looks at your competition for the greatest good, and boasts to His malaika about you." So show to Allah your righteousness from yourself, for verily the most pitiable and unfortunate one is the one who is deprived of Allah's mercy in this month. So, my dear respected brothers and elders, from this hadith, Nabi Sallam emphasized to the Sahabas how blessed and virtuous and important this month of Ramadan is. This is the month where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He showers His blessings upon His creation, upon mankind. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He forgives the people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He elevates the status of people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He sets free thousands of people from the fire of Jahannam. This is the month of mercy, it's the month of forgiveness, it's the month where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sets free people from Jahannam. So this is why we should try to compete with one another in trying to do as much good deeds as possible. We see in our pious predecessors what they would do in one household. They would have a competition on who could read the most Quran in one single day. And many households, what they would do, they would do one full Quran khatam a day. There were many stories of pious people where they, amongst the women folk, they would read many, many spars, up to 20 spars a day. They would compete with one another, trying to read the most. Like that, we can compete with one another in doing nawafil, reading nafil namaz. So in Ramadan, we should try to compete in goodness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, ila magfirati min rabbihim, that we should strive, we should go forward. In seeking Allah's forgiveness and you know His grace. So we should always try to compete with one another in doing good. And there's no harm in this. As long as it is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should always try to compete in this goodness. And that's why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees his mankind, that he has temptations, he has desires, but he suppresses every single one of them just to please his Lord. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he boasts to the angels, the malaika, because they were the one that questioned Allah, why are you creating mankind? They're going to cause destruction, they're going to cause fitna and fasad in the world. Whereas the malaika were pure, they were clean, and they were always engaged in the dhikr and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that the best of creation, that mankind, even though they have temptations and desires, they will suppress them and they will worship me. And this is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala boasts to the angel, look at my mankind, they are worshipping me. For in a day of 18 hours they keep a fast. They don't eat, they don't drink. They suppress all their needs. During the night they stand in Tarawi. They stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Qiyam. They're in Dhikr, they're reading Quran. They're staying away from temptations and desires from sin. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala boasts to the energy. These are the, my mankind. These are my people. These are the ones that worship me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, he really showers his blessings in this month. And that's why we should be those people that really take from the treasures of Allah in this month. We should really make the most of this opportunity. And especially in this month, we're going to be most likely spending this month of Ramadan at home because the masjids will still be locked. So we've got to make our house a masjid. We should make sure we pray our fighter and namaz in congregation. Like that, we should compete with one another in trying to do as much dhikr, adhkar, reading Quran. And as well as worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the greatest tests during this Ramadan especially when you're fasting and somebody can get on your nerve, is to be patient. 
and we've got to get along with family members because we're going to be home all day and it might be hot outside and we're going to have a long fast so what will happen is we might get onto each other's nerves so we've got to be patient we've got to make sure we don't hurt anybody we don't trouble anybody but we've got to make sure we're always still thinking and pondering about the people in our family and we should try to keep good relationship during the month of ramadan i think this ramadan will test us especially our mutual relationships the how are we with our parents our brothers and sisters with our children our wives so it's very important domestically in our house that we keep a good environment a jannati environment a, a, an environment of peace and harmony and i think if we can achieve that we will have a very good ramadan that we keep our dhikr as god we connected to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but secondly we're also keeping good mutual relationship with our family members and i think these two will be the biggest goals in this ramadan that we connect with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have a good relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and secondly we have a good relationship with all our family members may allah ta'ala gives all the tawfiq to do so ameen